Well, we got a ton of equipment here that I need to go through. I need to clean. And I gotta move it into the house. I gotta organize all of these wires. I'm gonna pull out all the Apex. I'm gonna pull off all the Ecotech stuff. I'm gonna pop this top off of this stand. I'm gonna save whatever plumbing I can do. I'm probably gonna map out all of the plumbing so that I remember how it was done. It's an all-in-one plumbed system. Uh, I wanna get that sump out so I can clean it. So today's uh, project is going to be taking apart this stand and uh, getting it put into the house. The only way it's coming in or out of this house is in pieces. We got about 600 pounds of dry rock. It's already been cured and cleaned. We're going to get that all laid out on the uh, garage floor, pick out the best pieces for the tank, and start aquascaping that on one of the episodes. We got boxes of prime cut Marco's shelf rock, which will uh, also get laid out. We're going to have a lot of shelves. I like the look of the shelves in the tank, so we can put some SPS on there. and. Uh, Get the tank looking really good. We gotta clean out all the old algae. The frag tank's gotta get cleaned out. They got everything that has got to get replumbed. The wall over here uh, has got to get drilled so we can run the RODI lines through the wall, up over the door, and into this area, which will have the two 45 gallon trash cans where we're going to have our water being mixed. We're gonna plumb through this wall here and we're gonna go out to the reef room, which used to be my dining room. That's where the 300 will be. We're gonna run one line in and one line out. The outline will go along the wall through the garage here.
some system's a little weird. It's not your traditional sump. This is where the overflows went into in the first compartment. They went over here. This is where the skimmer was. Then this was kind of like the refugium area, except for they didn't have a refugium in it. They had some fish in there. Uh, then it overflowed into the filter socks. There's one filter sock missing, so I'm going to have to go find one. I'll probably order a whole couple sets of them. Uh, from there, the water goes under to this box and then fills this box up, overflows into here, and this is where the return pump was in the back side. So we're going to get this box cleaned up. We're going to get everything cleaned up. We're going to scrape everything down with razor blades, clean it with uh, bleach, clean it with vinegar. We're going to get all the old calcium out of there, all the old algae out of there. We're going to get everything completely sterilized. We don't want any any problems in this new tank. Well I got the stand apart. Now I gotta go down to Tractor Supply and go buy a rubber mat because I am parking my truck in this garage tonight. Which means I gotta move that entire stand into the house and get it ready to put back together probably tomorrow. We might have to do another episode because this is getting kind of long. So the plan is, I'm going to put a 10 foot long section of rubber matting that they sell down here at Tractor Trailer Supply. The stand itself is 9 feet and some change. It's about 9, actually it might be about 9.5 feet. 9.5 foot by uh, 3 feet wide. So. I'm gonna put this rubber mat down so it doesn't destroy my hardwood floors. This is actually our formal dining room in our house. When we were uh, trying to move last year, we sold all of our furniture, so the room's been completely empty, which uh, makes it perfect to put a big fish tank in.